Hi, I'm Greg Undo with Steinberg. We're going to take a look at some of the uh, latest features in Cubase SX 3.1. Cubase has been around since 1989 and is the world's most popular creation tool from Yankee Software. One of the things we did when we introduced the SX range was to actually work with making things much faster and easier. For instance, if I wanted to zoom, I could just take my cursor my timeline, just zoom right down to the sample level. Editing my audio and MIDI is seamless on a project window. I could right click on any screen and access my tools. So if I want to come over here, cut, if I want to erase, I can just simply come over here, use my eraser tool. If I want to come here, move my audio around. Now if I wanted to even do a simple fade, I can just simply grab that window there. If I want to adjust my amplitude, want to increase my volume control. I can just simply come over here and draw in automation independent of that. Now everything I did also have completely unlimited levels of undo. So I go over here to my edit history. No matter what edits I've made, I can just simply scroll back in time and have all my edits just simply have completely unlimited levels of undo. Now, so one of the things that we've also integrated in is better hardware support. So we can now come over here and if we go to our device menu, one of the things that we can do is go to our studio manager. So now with a lot of the Yamaha hardware, for instance a digital console or even a motif, I can now just simply access built-in editors and have those all the parameters that are stored. So if I want to adjust my volume, my panning, or even select patch list, I can do that all from my software interface and store that and recall that within the project itself. Now we can also have a very new exciting thing called an external instrument. So we can now take older instruments that, and connect them into your audio interface, go into our VST connections window, and just simply add them in here. So I want to add my Yamaha Motif or any other MIDI device, simply add it in there, and now I can come over here and access my VST instruments, and now I can treat my hardware instruments just like a normal software plugin. So now I can just simply come right over here, and as I do that, we go to my external instruments, go to the Motif ES6, and now my software editor comes up. So I can treat my external hardware just like software, and yet still have it go through the audio engine with total sample accuracy. So we're going to have the best software integration and the best hardware integration with Cubase SX 3.1.